right? I can kick three gens and down someone and get 30% overall on three separate gens doing 10% on each one. And I can do that through the whole match. And I don't need to specifically go for one survivor. Seems like a no-brainer. All right, we've got a Blight. Let's see. I think people are forgetting, like, how much regression killers used to have. I've got some videos on YouTube where I've had... And this is when I was pushing for hooks because it was more possible back then. Um, where I've had matches where I've done 500 to 600% regression on gens. And it's still been a close game. And you're, you're telling me 100% regression is, like, insanely good. <laughs> well, not insanely good, but, like, good. Like, no, it isn't. Pop used to do that in, in uh, four hooks. Pop could do what Pain Res does now in any hook of anyone for any amount of hooks. So Pain Res can only do it on specific hooks with only the first time they've been on the hooks, so only four times. Old Pop, you could hook anyone on any hook at any time and you would get it more times. And that's all pop. That's just pop. Your pain rest is like having all pop goes a weasel, but on hooks rather than kicking gens. Well, worse, because you could only use it four times as well. Dude, yeah, you'd get you'd get really big. I, I said this before, like something they could do is when uh get rid of all just gen defense perks and all perks which increase gens, right? Uh all stuff what does all that, so it's just like a, a, a baseline. And then just have it on like have like um like a, a foundation change, like a balance change where when the killer gets someone and they're um a new hook who haven't been hooked. It does like a big explosion to all gens. And then if they get someone who has uh, already been hooked, it's a smaller explosion to all gens. And if they have someone who's on death hook, it's no explosion to all gens. If they just did something small like that, it'd be a good change. I think it might be tunneling now. Yeah, he is. Okay. All right, let's see if, we, if she can survive long enough. Um, and then if she can, let's see if we can borrow time saver. It's looking like this killer's probably going to get a one kill again. Uh, so where? That's your first time chatting. Should have chatted when we were playing it, man. Um, but yeah, I will be jumping on more to see, but I'm just waiting for season one. There's like sniper issues and stuff on that game. It's, it's kind of tedious, honestly. I don't think it's even going to come over here. It just looks like it's tunneling now. I don't think that's a small save. I think you should have waited. I think we should have finished this and then you should have done it. Okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, nice. Wait, do you not even get that? You don't even get that, the fuck? You used to be if you're enduring, you didn't even get it. This is bad, man. Uh, we need to do this gen. There's that loop I like. I'm sad that they're changing that. I actually quite like that loop. It's actually quite a, a weak loop for me as Survivor, which is more interesting. Do 
So we're here with no enduring, ah, oh, fair enough then. I'm gonna make him fall off. You ready? Oh. It all. Killers are supposed to be clowns in this game, aren't they? You can proper see it. Like how they look and shit, they're so goofy. Oh, Nia, don't die. <laughs> I think Nia's gonna die. He found her again. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> you are die. Alright, well once again, there's no killer that's beat our solo queue yet. She's being risky. Eh? Nah, she's... The UK outfit, yeah. It's uh, Alice in Wonderland, right? Give him a med kit. Yeah, spoof your enduring. Not, not smart. Oh, they're trying the adrenaline and uh, umbra salts. I don't like that, but it does allow you to curve. Do 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 do. Boy, FPS blight. 